Okay, so we had just finished working with the file. Let's open that file back up. We are looking for the test folder, which you can see. And we're going to select that particular file and open it. And we can actually go ahead and um, see what the contents are if we wanted. Or we could just say, um, let's transcript show stream contents and put in, and that will put the contents of the file into transcript. And sure enough, there it is. Now, we're going to put a carriage return into our stream and then next put all, here's some more text. And if we show the contents in our transcript again, sure enough, we replaced it with here's some more text. So let's set to end and add some more text. And now when we show the contents, see it kept our contents we had before. Let's do that again so we can see it a little better. See, we moved the position of our stream to the end. There's some text in here. Me, D, E, X, T. Yes, my mousing is very good. And when we set the stream to end, we say, okay, the next thing you do, next put all, is going to add some text after this point. So you can, you know, play around with it that way. But here's an interesting thing. I have already obtained the, the reference to this particular little drawing object. And now I'm going to do something really fun. I'm going to take the stream contents, that is what's, on the f what's in the file, as a paragraph and display on my sketch at 36090 and then tell my sketch to update itself. And sure enough, notice what it just did? And that is actually the painting object we're working with. See that? And in fact, when we clear it, it clears. And we can go back Bring it to front, or bring it to back rather, and say actually we want it to be a little farther down. Do it, and there it is again. So you can actually read text off of a file and draw it into a bitmap with just a couple of lines of code. And you can manipulate it and save it back out to the uh, file. And uh, you could do the same thing with a piece of web text. You could grab it in and uh, display it on the screen as HTML, and it'd be embedded in your bitmap. Smalltalk is fun.